Okay, Shalom. I'm going to give our honors and glories and praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Rekhar Kadash, double honors and apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace to the Akim that's doing his work on the four corners of earth. Also, shout out to you confusing face Akim that's out here doing the work, that's doing this work. Um, I want to talk about how we're supposed to uh, hate the evil and love the good. You know, the good is like, you know, brothers is out here doing the work that's on the highways and byways. Okay. You know, um, and also uh, doing sit downs and brothers doing three videos a day and um, doing three videos a week. You know, um, the evil like, you know, Esau and these other heathen nations, these dogs who are, who are ruling over the 12 tribes of Israel. And you 12 tribes of Israel are Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and a confusion, and a confusion of face that's been scattered on the four corners of the earth. And that's what we hate. We hate the so-called uh, uh, Edomites and these other nations that rule over Israel right now, you know. Because when you're in this truth, you're supposed to have a lot of hate and a lot of anger. You, you know, you're supposed to hate that we're not in our uh, homeland of Israel. You know, we're supposed to hate that shit. You know, uh, we're supposed to hate everything about this world and about the society. Because there's nothing righteous except for these scriptures, the brothers in the brotherhood, you know, the elders, you know what I'm saying, and watching these videos. You know, everything else is bullshit out here. You know, and, and, you know, we ready to get back home, man. Fuck this shit. Fuck this place. Um, So, yeah, you know, and also, too, we also got to hate these fucking uh, uh, two-third niggas, man. I mean, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that don't want to uh, listen to us. But it's okay. But you know what, though? The most high got y'all on a trip back anyway. Because the two-thirds of you niggas must die. You know, along with as you Uncle Tom niggas, you fucking uh, Spigger-ass niggas, and you fucking Tomahawk niggas, you, 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 you Native American Indians that don't want to get right with, with, with the book that you have about Shem, y'all was shot, and y'all gonna get put to death. You know, that's why we put curses on the two-third niggas every day, because it's necessary. And we also put curses on our enemies, because it's necessary. We put curses on the four corners of the earth that's not going to let us go. And that's necessary. You know, our only way out of this is through Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and nobody else. You know, I'm going um, go to the book of Amos, uh, chapter uh, 5 and 15. Hate the evil and love the good. And expand it. Exporting judgment in the gate, it may be that the Lord power of hosts will be graciously unto the remembrance of Joseph. Okay, so we're supposed to uh, hate the evil look good, man. You know, we also hate, you know what I'm saying. You know, these faggots and these trannies and, and these lesbian fucks. You know what I'm saying? But that's what it, but who who allow all this all this bullshit to happen? The so called white men, Esau Edom, the Edomites. You know? Uh he put the fucking uh women over the over the men. And we hate that shit. That's bullshit. You know. Uh you know, we also hate, you know what I'm saying, that how, you know, they trying to turn, you know, everybody, they want to turn all men into fucking faggots, man. Got young ass kids, uh, 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 two-third jakes out here, in the, out here in the streets, see them wearing fucking uh, tight ass pants and all that bullshit. Fucking, you know, got them, got, got kid, kids just in the day like fucking faggots, man. And we hate that shit. Um, but to you niggas, man, you know, you, you got what's coming to, from your, how about shimmy, how shy, man, 
I'm gonna read something to you right quick. Uh, I'm gonna go down all the way to eight, all the way to uh, Amos five and uh, eighteen. Woe unto you that desire the day, the day of the day of the Lord. What, yeah, to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Damn Skippy. You know, it's going to be straight up darkness, man. When all these judgments come, when this economy goes down, uh, when these race riots happen, uh, uh, what's that? The, uh, the RFID microchip, you know, there's going to be a lot of judgment going on out here, you know, but when that day the Lord comes, man, you know, judgment is coming and it's coming from Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, man, you know, let me get another scripture right quick. Oh, yeah, this was what I got. I got a, uh, yeah, I got a book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verses uh, 20. Woe un unto, uh, un yeah, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light. And light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Kind of because like you Jake's man, like you know how like you like you two third Jake's man, how you know you think it's cool, like you know, like you eat a mic like you uh like you uh Jake women that think it's okay to swirl. But these fucking Edomite men, you know, and you fail to realize when you uh have have you know have laid down with with Esau and, and, and married these Edomites or any other nation that's outside of Israel, you're an enemy of the Lord according to the scriptures. Because when you lay, you know, when you when you Jake women, rather it's you uh you Southern Kingdom women, which is Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Or rather, you the Latino tribes or Native American tribes, which would be the the uh, northern tribes of Israel. When you get with an Edomite man or any man outside of the other nations, you know what I'm saying? You're the enemy of the Lord because that kid is not going to be an Israelite. That kid is going to be a, a straight up Ed, a Edomite or whatever nation that kid is because the lineage goes by the father, never the uh, woman. But an Israelite man can have sex with any other woman on planet Earth because his bloodline is going to come, going to come through uh, his children because we got semen, sperm. It comes through the men. It don't matter now. It don't matter if we lay down with an Edomite. It don't matter if we lay down with Ishmael. It don't matter if we lay down with a so-called Chinese person or a Japanese person or a Japhetic person. That kid is going to be a, a confusion of face, but that kid is going to be a bloodline Israelite. We can do it, but you women can't. You dig? You know, uh, one thing too, like, uh, like this society is too fucking uh, feminine, man. That's why I pray I get out of here, man, because this place got to go. You know, like, you know, this, this 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 country here, aka America, this place is Babylon the Great. It's a woman worshiping country, you know, and this place is about to go down. And judgment is coming for this place, 
from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know. We'll be glad when this place gets nuked. Yeah, we hate we hate this damn country called Babylon the Great. Uh, I'm gonna go to uh, I'm gonna get one more uh, from Revelation uh, 17 verse five, and a Paul here for a head was a name written Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Okay, and everybody hate this damn country. Okay. And now the beast is, is 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 bitching about Babylon the Great, and that's all Bible prophecy according to the scriptures, you know. But uh, this is the Watt from the Detroit camp, um, saying uh, all honest and God's paces due to Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, recall Kadash, the by honest apostles and elders of GMS, and peace to Akim that's doing this work, and Babal Babal, and we almost out this bitch. Shalom.